like a baby on its final lap. Like a baby with a code in its doze. It opened like a hollow ball. His code was cracked, a certain cure. It opened on his signature. In the yoke she found a model, a doll tree, a miniature. Signatures flew everywhere, they roosted in the tree. Half of him became a bird. His feathered part flew up to roost, to safety flew. His tears were pure, in every tear a signature. His bird part, he became a songbird, a bird in him. From a shell, a bird flew. First in a tree, a bird escaped to safety. In the tree.
1982. Let's see. That's old style time, 1982, right? Yeah, yeah. That's before the war. Before Manny Greenbaum became king, right? Sure, well, you know, back then, the only thing lived in caves was bits and mushrooms. Yeah, we talked about it a lot, Bo. Who knew? Started someplace cold, I think. It was cold until they boiled the oceans. Smooth without warts nor hair. President Arnold Rick, 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 President Arnold Rick, 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 Hatred, envy, and bigotry. Rick, 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 Hatred, envy, and bigotry. Rick, 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 this afternoon, the president flew to New York City to accept an award from the National Conference of Christians and Jews for what it called his courageous leadership. In his speech tonight, Mr. Reagan conceded he is bothered by his critics' claim that he's trying to destroy the government's commitment to compassion. What he's trying to do, he said, is save what is best in our system. Oh, hello. Gotcha. It's nice to see you. Likewise. Listen, maybe you have a recipe for Peking duck. Why do you want to make Peking duck? Cheese, ketchup, and water. Hatred, envy, and bigotry. Cheese, ketchup, and water.
I always find it so difficult to talk about the State of the Union. I like so many of them, although I've never been to Hawaii or Puerto Rico, but I hope to go to Puerto Rico next February if I can only get over my fear of flying. California is such a nice, long state. Texas and New York are both very big, but New York has many more lakes and green trees in summer, and I love to listen to the wind blow through those trees. It's so comforting. Rhode Island is small, but has a lot of nice coastal beaches with easy access, but nowadays they've gotten very crowded and expensive. New Hampshire is a little too conservative, even though their license plates read, live free or die, which I see as a kind of radical conservative statement. Also, many towns in New Hampshire have an ordinance. The fronts of all the houses must be painted white. Vermont is seedy and funky and suits my temperament more, a northern Puritan sense of graceful decay, but it's landlocked, which makes me claustrophobic. Portions of the main coast make me weep for their beauty and drive me to drink long before the traditional cocktail hour. What a sad, sad place that is. When I think of Maine, I can only think of being buried there after I'm dead, of course, under an old gray slate lichen covered stone. I always feel much more alive in California, but I'm afraid to move there, maybe because I hold it in my mind as a last resort. Like Lewis and Clark, one of them committed suicide just after reaching the coast, but I've never been to Southern California, never to LA, but I think the constant sun and blue sky there would drive me mad, mad, mad. Oregon seems to be the right place to raise a large family, so clean with all those survivalists with their machine guns mounted by private bomb shelters buried deep in those thick green pine forests. I think of Eugene, Oregon. It's such a nice place. <laughs> One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, my God. 
beer notation. Then at night, say around three in the morning, sneak up to a simple looking house in a residential area and bolt the doors and bolt the windows. But if a dog barks and cut the telephone line all from the outside, Go home and do a painting with this new acquired knowledge. has abandoned a lion, eagle, ox in favor of the 30-second spot. There are no presents for children. Everything is obvious. Envy has erased all sympathetic response. Fire burns on, unencumbered by water, uninspired by air. This is a description of mediocrity. There is more headroom, but one's feet are forced into slippers of steel. Pride holds the masses in a continual, habitual process of readornment. The sun sets and rises without saturation of the senses, rises and sets without redemption of the soul. Approaching the azimuth now, the sun condenses its message to opposites. There will be good fortune, there will be evil. <laughs> Kick my soul. A single is a 20 minutes to mink in the mold. There's a feeling across the nation. Is this season's be true to sensation? You can read it on the walls of the lost and found. You can sell it from a pushcart all over town. You can pick it up, but you can't put it down. Hey, kick the door and kick the floor and fall out shelters are so boring. Loud fast rules cool in our high schools. Nuke your teeth whilst on the beach. Hey, do you see the monkey? Can you see the monkey? See the monkey? What's in store? Reagan's War. 1500 from El Salvador, training on our sweet Georgia shore. Hey, old Fort Bragg and old Fort Benning, and don't you know it's just the beginning? Oh, you want to go where they get to go, where they get to be so expensively, so exclusively, where you want to be in Slobacho land with a hundred grand. Come on down to Alpha A, B, C, D, it's so easy. Show me the way to the next sushi bar. Pate would be fine. Oh, cappuccino and nice light wine. It's cool to panic. Panic is a natural state. Cherry Blossom. Cherry Blossom. Happy birthday. 